hundreds and thousands of youth and young adults are dying every day across the country there is no specific occupation or family history is related to their deaths the question becomes why dying youth brings horror to parents and to the society road accidents took lot of youth almost 18.4% of death of young people are because of road accidents suicide is another cause of death among youth especially between ages of 15 to 29 years in both sexes 17.4% died of suicide till 2019 but today scene is changed why we need to examine of late we find lot of youth dying in cricket ground gymnasiums after severe hard work only some celebrity deaths we come to know but many of youth are dying all nook and corners of this country i must say all over the world dying of heart attack brain stroke is gradually increasing especially the post covid era as a sports medicine expert i want to warn the youth not to play active games without preparation without training if you want to suddenly play cricket if you are obese you haven't checked yourself recently you don't know what disease you have and you don't sleep properly then you are a good candidate for a sudden death in ground football hockey cricket badminton all intense games may land you up in trouble youth please do not play suddenly any intense game i must tell you if you want to play cricket you must play cricket a comprehensive cricketing needs 3 to 4 days of selective conditioning of the body that is preparing your muscles body movements required for the game proper nutrition pre and post stretching and good skill of the game if you want to play only week end cricket then it could be disastrous playing one day two days a week any intense game can make you a candidate for a serious disease namely heart attack or a brain stroke lot of corporate employees land up in this trouble in fact today morning also have heard youth died on ground how do you know that you have a problem are you obese you don't sleep properly on a regularly same time or you don't sleep adequately do you smoke and indulge in alcohol consumption very regularly are you undergoing job stress are you exercising not regularly or indulging in sudden bouts of high intense exercise your blood chemistry out of range then your risk is very very high what are the warning signs very simple sign while playing is chest pain and discomfort in your chest or doing some intense physical activity like household work gardening or any kind of activity where you indulge in severe physical exertion if you feel chest pain discomfort it may be heart attack or it may be a sudden cardiac arrest shortness of breath is a very very important sign pain and discomfort in your jaw neck or pain from the chest radiating to your back or radiating to your arm and shoulder feeling nauseated light headedness unusually tired reeling head sweating all these singly or together are the signs of impending heart disease or heart attack so you should be well aware of these how to prevent first is emergency treatment second is your lifestyle management ideally there are a lot of recommendations by many cardiologists senior doctors to have an emergency kit some statin especially rosuvastatin because it can dissolve your fat tissues like cholesterol in your blood vessels narrowing your blood vessel to the heart or secondly dissolving the freshly formulated blood clot a good dose of aspirin thirdly sorbitrate 
that is an emergency treatment putting under the tongue can save a serious heart attack or even it can reduce the intensity of the event so that it becomes easy to treat you in in hospital however all these drugs are serious do not unnecessarily eat them in panic small muscular pain or you getting tired in small household work not an abnormal ratio then don't just swallow but you can call your doctor or a medical attendant do take doctor's advice otherwise you may land up in a wrong medication so emergency kit can save not only elderly and also youth next is the four most important thing you must start thinking about your life as such regeneration recovery of the human body is entirely depends on your sleep management you must sleep 7 to 8 hours uninterrupted sleep to recover completely to recharge all your hormones enzymes in a one word whole blood chemistry secondly you know that you are overweight you don't need a big measurement or weighing machine to know you are overweight correct all the parameters to avoid gaining weight reduction is later take proper advice in reducing and gradually stopping alcohol smoking if at all you are indulging in any drugs definitely you need expert advice you don't need a watch to count steps how much you are exercising you want to exercise for weight reduction fat burning go slow don't land up in a sudden burst of high intensity exercise there is nothing like high intensity exercise which can help you to reduce your body fat very fast it's a myth follow your genetically programmed diet if your chemistry inside is disturbed your body also changes do have a medical check have your blood pressure your pulse rate a simple chest x ray at least once in a year fasting lipid profile random blood sugar post lunch blood sugar simple there are so many doctors and medical fraternity people are available you don't have to do an angiogram to know that you have a risk of heart disease your family history your body weight your occupation your sleep and your habits and how is your mental capacity are you able to tolerate your workload mentally do you think you are mentally stable is your anger and emotional outburst do they match with your thinking just think if you want more advices please do consult